Maria, can you hear me? Yep. Okay. Yep. I'm sorry. I see that my my screen looks black. Can you see my screen? Yeah. You can see you. You can see me. Okay. I don't even see myself. I'm not sure why that's uh, behaving like that. But I'm going to go ahead and continue on from where we were talking about Priceline.com. So, and this applies directly to you all because, again, uh, one of the unique um, points with Jeff was that he was an industry disruptor, which made him pop in the media. And so what Jeff, his experience was, and if you listen to the show, he was actually on, on my radio show, The Bottom Line Show Live, and he talks about how he was an industry disruptor. And his frustration came, and this is where he, not only himself, but the people that he assembled, he was a co-founder for Priceline.com. He was able to make an extraordinary <laughs> sum of money when they sold Priceline.com um, because they were industry disruptors. And his challenge was he was flying quite a bit um, all over the world. And he would go to get a ticket. He knew that a ticket from, from Ohio to New York, he knew that there was a flight that left every day at 3 o'clock because it was a regular flight that he would get. And when he would call by phone or he would call a travel agency, he wasn't able to get that airfare or that flight. It would not even show up. The person on the phone would always give him a, a, a fare that was considerably higher and it was not the time. He knew that at, you know, Mondays at three o'clock, there was a regularly scheduled flight. And yet the person on the phone, the travel agent would not offer it to him. And so when he would challenge the travel agent, he's like, wait a minute, I travel, you know, several times a week, every week. And I know for a fact that there's a flight every Monday at three o'clock that leads from Ohio to New York City because I take it all the time. Why aren't you offering that to me? Well, let me check out here and then sure, you know, it was like pulling teeth, but it wasn't something that was available. And so because of that, he decided, you know, there's got to be a better way of doing this. And I don't want to have to deal with the travel agent agents that are making money on their commissions. So they're only going to show you the highest fares. They're going to keep the dead legs and all these other fares over here to one side because they make more money on these. So that's why Priceline was even born was because of that need that he had and he knew that other people were experiencing the same thing and they would love to be able to have the facility to be empowered like that to go online and just be able to pick their fare and and uh and move forward and of course then he expanded it from not just airfare but to hotel and and so forth so the bottom line is that jeff having this unique disruptive quality to his industry is something that's newsworthy. So that's another point of distinction. If you have something, and that leads me to my first, I talked about a three-point system. And so it's the EMT system, and the letter E is engage. And it's your job. Nobody can tell you what is your carrot, what is your hook, what's the bait that you can hang. You need to have that key handy so that it can open the door to a radio station, to a television station, to a magazine, to a newspaper. It's a key in your system, in your marketing arsenal. Without it, you're dead in the water. You're dead meat. It's How good is a, is a gun if you have no bullets? You could have a highly skilled professional and you can have a two-year-old. If you have no bullets, what good does it do you to have the top of the line gun and the top of the line professional? You may as well be an amateur. So engage. You need to know what your point of engagement is going to be, how you're going to get their attention. So that's the first step. And then that's what Jeff did. That's the one common denominator that everybody who gets on any of these media platforms have. You know, even paid platforms. My radio station, my radio show, we have experts from all sorts of industries. We have Oscar, award, Oscar award-winning producers, directors, actors, actresses, Grammy award-winning musicians. We have Golden Globe, um, Golden Globe Award winners and nominees, etc. But the common denominator is that they had something that was engaging. If they don't have if they could have a billion dollars and if they don't have something that's engaging, that's unique, that is going to be of intrigue to the audience, 
not only myself, any producer, any and all producers, the worst thing you can have is dead air on your show. There isn't any money in the world. Why? You're like, well, you should just take the money. No. You know what the problem is? If you are short-sighted and you take that dollar amount and you are bought, how are you going to rectify your reputation now? How do you unring that bell? You can't. Once you've done that, once you ring that bell, you can't bring back that sound. It's out there. People have heard. That's your reputation. So it's not all about the money. It's about the quality of what it is that you're putting on that flat platform. So that's why money is one component. Yes, you can buy airtime and so forth, but you still have to know what you're talking about, and you have to have a good point of engagement. So Jeff Hoffman, and if you're interested, you can listen to the show, and it'll give you a little bit more information about uh, some of the business strategies that, that will apply to you, bar none. He talks about the secrets of success that led him to, to the point where he was able to not only build up Priceline, but eventually sell it. Another person I'm going to share with you is a slightly different industry. Um, let's show Don Miguel Reese. Here's a gentleman. Um, many of the guests that I've had that, that share my platform have been on Oprah. Uh, Don Miguel Reese, believe it or not, was originally a surgeon. He comes from a long line of family members and ancestors who are doctors and healers. So some of them are MDs, like himself, who is a surgeon. And others are shamanic healers. He goes back, you know, he's a Toltec descendant. And so it goes back many, 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 many years uh, in his history. And so one of the things that he has done is he, of course, we all know, he, just like Deepak Chopra, they're physicians who've transitioned over to the more spiritual side of their existence. And that's where they've become magnanimously popular and so the next word I'm going to talk about in the EMT system is you have to magnetize yourself and that's what these people have done as well you have the opportunity to magnetize yourself it's wonderful for people to engage with you once but in order to really up your game so that you see not only a great benefit to the public, but also bring a lot to your bottom line revenue and your income. You have to magnetize your message. Make, you need to make it compelling and engaging. And it's only with repetition and frequency that you're going to see the magnetization if you're providing the right type of, of content and presenting it in the right fashion. So one of the things that Don Miguel Reese did, believe it or not, it was almost 20 years ago that he wrote the book, The Four Agreements. And despite the fact that it's been almost 20 years, that book continues to provide him an incredible amount of residual income. It's still relevant. Those teachings are engaging and have, and have changed so many people's lives. However, um, it's, it's, it really blew up his business. And since then, he has been a New York Times bestselling author of not just that book, many other books as well. But he understood how to magnetize himself. And because he was effective in his means of communication, he was able to not only get on radio, magazine, newspapers, but he was able to get on to not just Oprah, but all sorts of other TV programs on ABC, NBC, CBS, KTLA, Fox, MSNBC, CNN, Showtime, Lifetime. It goes on and on and on. And so magnetize. Here you go. You'll see if you, any of the information that I'm uh, talking about you and some of the sources you can, you know, my credibility, if you're questioning, you're like, oh, maybe she's lying about what she's talking about. Does she really know, you know, does she really know this TV and radio magazine and newspaper game? Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, these people don't do business with flakes. That's just, you know, birds of a feather flock together. Um, and so if you want to check that out, you'll see uh, here we have when Don Miguel's been on my show either two or three times. Um, and another thing I want to tell you guys is for those of you who have not been on TV, radio, magazine, newspaper yet, today could be the first day. You can decide. You know what? I really like that idea about uh, 
doing a public service announcement and doing a public service to the community in the form of a, of a seminar. Just that one distinction can put a lot of dollars in your pocket. Um, I'll be doing in the future a training that talks about the difference between a, public, a press release and what the uses of a press release are and the uses of a public service announcement and what the actual form looks like and what the best way to fill it out so that you're compliant in the way that the media expects to receive it from you so that you're on par as the PR firms out there. So we'll do, we'll do a training on that because uh, it, it is a distinction and you want to be able to put your best foot forward. So the third principle that I want to get into, and we've got here 412, we've just got about a little less than uh, 12 minutes left, is actually before we get into that next one, I'm going to show you, uh, here we go. I can get a little tricky sometimes. If I can get this to move, okay. I want to show you another person who we recently had on. It's Cheryl Snap Connor. This is one of my magazine uh, contacts. Cheryl Snap Connor happens to be a writer for Forbes magazine. And uh, if you want to look up any of this information, you can find it on my wall for either Luxia Media, my personal wall, or for the Bottom Line Show Live. Or you can go to Cheryl Snap Connor or any one of these people. Just put it in the Google search bar and you'll find it. There's plenty of evidence to convict me of the crime of being in the entertainment and media business. Um, here we go. Here's Cheryl's uh, uh, thank you on uh, her wall. It says, thank you, Lillian Walker, for the chance to be on your show. Great discussion on the power of communication uh, and on how to create and publish better content. For anybody who missed it, here's the link. Um, she also has an incredible online university that teaches people how to effectively communicate in the written word because she's a written journalist and she has an actual university and certification program which is pretty awesome if you're if you're somebody that's really interested in copywriting i would encourage you to check it out because she is incredible and again she's a forms a forbes writer and she is connected her and i both are connected to fortune companies in 140 countries I'm going to say that one more time. We are, her and I are both connected to fortune companies, fortune 1000 companies in over 140 countries. And so being industry professional, we share experts from different areas of industry to the benefit of the people that we're connected with in those 140 countries. I hope this makes sense to you. Um, I want to share the third element of my EMT method, and that's target. Target. And what do I mean by target? You need to target several things. You have to target your audience. You have to target your message. And you have to target where it is that you see yourself in the motion picture screen of your mind and in the film of your life because you are living a life that is basically a movie and you're the producer the director the writer and the actor and you're the one who are you're going to choreograph who it is who's going to be in each scene so my question to you is what is your movie going to look like because if you haven't thought about what your movie is going to look like six months from now 12 months from now a year from now, three years from now, five years from now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, my friend, I have good news and bad news for you. The bad news is, if you have no intention of being the director, producer, choreographer, script writer, and you don't put an intention out, the bad news is you're gonna get the default programming, which is probably the lowest less desired outcome that you want. The good news is, if you target what you want and you on purpose, mindfully decide what you would like that movie to look like and you're the star of the show, then my friends, I'm here to tell you that there's nothing that is out of your reach, nothing is possible. And, and I am living proof of that. I gotta tell you, as little as less than 10 years ago, I remember when I watched the DVD, The Secret, and I saw Jack Canfield, I saw Don Miguel Reese, I saw Lisa Nichols, I saw Esther Hicks, I saw Bob Proctor, I saw you know who the people are 
that are on the secret DVD. And I distinctly remember talking to my best friend. I have a couple best friends. And my best friend who's known me since I was at USC because we were roommates lives in Hawaii. Her name is Tammy. And we would have conversations because we would watch and watch the DVD of The Secret over and over again and start to apply and test different elements of The Secret and the Law of Attraction. And I'm going to play for you today. Listen to this. This is a recent, she just called me on July 7th, and I happen to keep this message as proof of what it is that I'm talking about. But listen to what she has to say. But anyway, thank you for the conversation, and congratulations on your um, nomination. You still deserve every nomination you possibly can get. So I'm really happy for you, and it's so funny, Lily, and really, it's a miracle that, you know, not so many years ago when we first was watching The Secret, you said you on a test. You were talking about wanting to meet those people and all of that, and now you're just like lining up right next to them, getting the same awards and like rubbing shoulders with them. That's like incredible. What an awesome manifestation. So anyways, I really love you. If we get to um, touch bases again, great. Um, if not, then I'm heading home, and then of course, you know, the whole dinner, dog. So she's talking about how since then, when The Secret came out, I was so intrigued by what I was seeing, hearing, and feeling that I targeted in my mind's eye, I daydreamed, I visualized to materialize what it is that I want. And it has come to pass, and it continues to come to pass. So my friend, my message to you is that if you choose to on purpose target what it is that you want, it could be Oprah, it could be Sir Richard Branson, it could be, it doesn't matter who the icon of industry, whether in music, medicine, media, sports, politics, fortune companies, there is no limit. But you need to choose to target it and you need to believe that it can be achieved by you. And in my particular case, I mean, who would have thought in 2000, I think it was 2008 when we became aware of the secret DVD, at least that's when I first became aware of it. I'm sorry, it was not 2008, it was actually 2006, latter part of 2006. You know what, in 2013, of all the things in the world, I was knighted with Don Miguel Reese, the author of The Four Agreements, Jack Canfield, author of Chicken Soup for the Soul, and Mark Victor Hansen. So Jack Canfield was also knighted. He's become a friend. Mark Victor Hansen, who wasn't knighted, has also become a pretty good friend. These people are in my cell phones. I talk to them whenever I want to pick up the phone and call them. They're peers. Don Miguel Reese. Just recently, the nomination that she's talking about, which I don't know if it'll go through, but it's a nomination that Sir Richard Branson and a lot of big notable people are um, luminary award recipients, and now I've been knighted for that. And I say, I didn't have anything to do with that. I'm just focusing on what it is that I want. I engage, I magnetize, and I target who, what, why, where, and how I want stuff. And it's coming to pass. And when you give yourself permission, we've got just a few more minutes here, as you give yourself permission to want what it is that you want and to dream that impossible dream because it, in fact, is possible, you can accomplish, be, do, and have anything that you want. So last point I want to leave with you guys, we talked about the three-step system. Um, one of the things that I'll be giving to those of you who are on, on this live call is I'm going to give to you a media guide. The media guide is basically television, radio, networks. This is about, uh, how many pages? It's 18, yeah, 18 pages long. I'm going to send it to you in digital format. Um, I'm going to be reformatting this and making it into a small little black book that will look like, oh, I think I moved it out of here. Um, but it'll be a smaller pocket-sized book that you can keep it on you so that while you're either waiting in a lobby you have any kind of dead time, you'll be able to pick up that little black book and contact the, the different media outlets. If you look at this, this has here for the Southern California area, this is the Radio and Television News Association of Southern California. We have television radio networks. You see that there's quite a few of them. I don't know how visible that is. We also have KNBC, KTLA. It actually has the phone numbers. Can you see that? It actually has the phone numbers listed and the name of the contacts. President and General Manager for KBC TV, Cheryl Fair, 818-863. So you got the picture. This is a really, really, really valuable guide. So we, we have for the different television stations and news broadcasts throughout 
California. And we also have radio stations. We have 30, 40, 50 radio stations. So this is an awesome little guide to have. And as a thank you, as a way of paying it forward, thanking you for your time, you're going to get this free media guide that will be handy. This is one of several media guides that I have. Uh, when you buy the whole system, then of course you get lots of bells and whistles and lots of gifts and my hands-on training. That, uh, I'm almost afraid since the, <laughs> this thing shut down while we were on here and I had my PowerPoint presentation open. Yeah, it's not even on here right now. So let's see here. Do we have a... Uh, I think we're going to end it here because we're at 422 and rather than have this cut off on us, we're going to end our video presentation. I want to let you know, please put in the chat box your email address so that we can send you your media guide and we will inform you of the next webinar and the next week we're going to be doing another webinar that's going to go in a little bit deeper as to this content on how you can right away get on TV, radio, newspaper, or magazine. The principles do uh, transcend. There's some core elements of it, like what I talked about as a public service announcement that apply to multiple industries. And then there's an application when you're putting it into effect in a live event. That's it for now. That, my friends, is the bottom line. Thank you for attending our webinar. Bye-bye now.